Well, the suits are finally on. It is press conference day. We have a new Wolves head coach in Walter Zenger. I'm Nathan Judah. Wolves reporter Tim Spurs joins me. How do you think it all went? Yeah, I mean, it's been a, uh, been a crazy 10 days or so. I mean, you know, imagine missing all that and going on holiday. Here we go, <laughs> here we go. Shocking, yes, uh, I, did, I did take a holiday just before it all kicked off. But I'm back now and uh, that, was, yeah. that was pretty intense. It was, it, was, it was quite intense. I mean, it, start, it started off with a bang, didn't it? The, the first question from... Uh, Perhaps it was Sky Sports basically saying, you know, are you going to be here? Are you going to be here longer than a year? Or worse to that effect. Um, and and yeah. the, the, the kind of theme, the theme was, was, was Zenga defending himself and defending his record. Um, he said, don't believe, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, don't judge me on my Wikipedia page, basically. Right, which, of course. Which is a fair question. No, absolutely. Really. Yeah. Uh, a fair request, rather. Um, yeah, and he, and he said there's, there's lots more to it, to the fact that he hasn't stayed at clubs for long. Mm -hmm. He said one club didn't name who they were, didn't pay him for six months. Yeah, um, he's obviously, that's, that's a decent reason to leave. To be fair, <laughs> so he's obviously had differences, differences at clubs. It's not, it's not all been about money, and and the countries that he's been managing in, you know, uh, Italy, the Middle East, the UAE, um, these these aren't renowned for sticking with their managers for you know on a, on a, on a, on a three-year project. Mm -hmm. um, and and Zenga's such a fiery character that it, that he's obviously going to annoy people and rile, and rile them. Um, and that's where boardroom kind of fractions happen, and that's how you get fired. Uh, so that, that's what's been happening. We'll hope for a much calmer um, relationship with Fosun. Um, there's a lot of people involved. It's not clear who's making decisions. But as for Zenger himself, yeah, I'm impressed with him and his personality. And I think he'll get the players going and get the fans going as well. You're right. And I think he was a little bit perturbed when people say he's fiery. Like you say, they read Wikipedia pages, whatever rumours are out there. And I think maybe certain journalists were trying to rile him and trying to you know, see if he, if he lives up to that name. And I think he spoke very eloquently, to be fair. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, he's going to defend himself. He, he's very wary of the press. I'm sure he's been tripped up in the past. You know, it's, the, the guys in Italy are a lot, a lot worse than us. You know? Yeah, of course, yeah. Even worse than the Express and Star. Oh, wow, um, I, can't, I can't get worse than that. Exactly. So, um, he's, like I said, he's very, very careful of being tripped up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so someone was trying to quiz him on what he knew about Steve Bull, and he's just like, do you know what, I'm not going to play this game. Yeah. Um, I do my talking via my team on, mm -hmm. this, on this pitch behind us. Um, He's obviously very proud to be here. He says, you know, Wolves are a very famous club in Italy, and there's a lot of people who support Wolves back mm -hmm. home. Um, it's a big opportunity for him. I mean, if, he, he, Huge. Would, he wouldn't be drawn on a lot of things today. He wouldn't even be drawn on, you know, ha, ha, have you been looking uh, to looking into Certain getting a job in, into English football? Yeah. Have you been looking at players? I think that's fair enough, really, not mm -hmm. talking about individual names. Um, wouldn't really be drawn on much on the current squad either. Wouldn't even re really be drawn on his on his uh, philosophy of the way he likes to play the game. Um, he just said, you know, basically keep the ball on the pitch and keep playing till the last minute. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it's not the most uh, sophisticated philosophy, but I, th I think I think that's that's Zinger all the way over. He'll yeah. be he'll motivate his players that they will love him. It, it, it'll, it'll kind of be you know like the jo Jose Mourinho, you know, mm -hmm. getting players to love him. He's, I mean, he said today, uh, I've got the best players in the world at Wolves. So that kind of tells you all you need to know that he's, he's going to defend his players to the very end, and, yeah. every, and everybody else, perhaps, mm -hmm. perhaps the uh, referees, uh, the media, maybe even supporters, will, will be his enemy. Mm -hmm. Him and his players will be very, very tight knit. Jose Moxie also said that um, there's two new additions to the backroom staff. Can you elaborate on them? Yes. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's brought his well-travelled assistant manager in, um, and it, also Andrea Booty was confirmed today. Mm -hmm. Uh, unclear of his. In fact, have you got his job title written down there? Uh, uh, unclear exactly of his of team his operations manager team is what they're saying. I don't think it's been announced yet. Team operations manager. Um, so whether he's working under Kevin Thelwell, whether he's in charge, and um, whether they're working together, it certainly wasn't clear from him there. But I can't imagine he's 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 going to be coming in to take orders from from someone else mm -hmm. if, he, if he's come from Monaco. Yeah. You know, he's been at Inter Milan as well before. Um, he's been by Zenga's side for about a week now. Very knowledgeable. Um, very well travelled. Yeah. Where's a good suit? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, so we'll see. It's going to be very interesting. Like I said, the hierarchy here. Who's mm -hmm. making the decisions? It's certainly not Jez Moxie anymore. Mm -hmm. Who? I don't know. I got the impression he didn't was, weren't expecting him to be here, mm -hmm. and, and whether he wanted to be here, I don't know. But he didn't answer many questions. Certainly on on Kenny Jacket sure. and, and why he was sacked, and why during last Monday's press conference they they suggested they wouldn't sack him. Mm -hmm. You know, Jez didn't want to talk about that. He said, you know what, it's mm -hmm. Moxie's decision. It's Jeff Shee. It should be answering that question. And Which he did speak it, but he, he was he was reluctant in doing so. It was very quick, wasn't it? So he needed to make a quick decision, and that's that's what he went with, Jeff Shee. 
I mean, he wasn't convincing on this last week either. It was the one thing he didn't, he didn't really want to talk about. I think everybody took what he said with a pinch of salt yeah. that Kenny was going to be his man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the 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 confusion and the, perhaps the annoyance is, is why didn't they get rid of him as soon as they took over? Why did they leave it a week? It's another week, another week close to the start of the season. And you know, there, there have been a lot of accusations, rightly or wrongly, from fans that Wolves under Morgan and Moxie were were not transparent. Yeah, um, they weren't truthful with the fans. Now that that, that was that was just their opinion, um, not my opinion for what it's worth. But mm -hmm. that, that was that was their opinion. So it's it's not the best start from a PR point of view for Jeff Shee to be showing on Monday. Kenny's, <coughs> you know, we're, we're with Kenny we're with going him forward. All, yeah. I agree with him. It's you know suggesting he's our man, and then on Friday he sacks him. Absolutely. Um, people thought that there might be a complete change in the backroom staff, but he did speak glowingly about Rob Edwards and, and plenty of the other people and, and that he wants to you know, be proud and, and for Rob Edwards and him to have a good relationship. Yeah, that, that's good, good that going forward. Nice. He's obviously worked with Rob Edwards before Saturday's uh, friendly against Swansea. They picked the team together and yeah, you're right, he said you know, uh, he was impressed with, with the glowing terms in which Edwards spoke about Jacket and he wants, he wants Edwards to speak about him in, in the same vein one mm -hmm. day. Um, so he's staying, uh, we believe Pat Mount is staying, uh, Phil Haywood as well, Tony Daly, Jerry Gill, Scott Sellers, as far as we know, well, yeah. Pat Zenger's just said it, they're all staying. He's bringing uh -huh. in his own assistant. Yeah. He's going to be someone working with Kevin Thelwell above them. Um, but Zenger said he would be a fool to come in and, and mm -hmm. change everything. Um, I think it's a smart move, though, really. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there's, 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 there's been enough upheaval at this club in the last two weeks alone. You know, mm -hmm. They've got a new owner, they ha there's a new, new, new head coach now, a new, guy, a new guy working on transfers. You've got Jorge Mendes pulling every string going mm -hmm. um, and a new chief executive coming in as well which which is probably going to be the biggest biggest decision of all as to who replaces Jess. Mm -hmm. Players going forward, we've got some new signings and we expect more to come don't we, probably within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of hours, a couple of days, <laughs> you know, Christ. Uh, midnight tonight, next yeah. signing probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Joe Texera from uh, Benfica, 23-year-old midfielder. Zengo confirmed that he's he's, uh, he's he's signed. We're not clear on the details of that yet, whether it's a loan or permanent deal. But he's, he's coming in. Mm -hmm. It's three Portuguese players so far, all with very close links to Benfica and yeah. or Jorge Mendes. So it's, you know, they're not... They're, they're not being coy or shy about this. No. This, this is this is it now. Mm -hmm. you know, Jeff, Jeff, mm -hmm. Jeff she said last week, Mendes will be our agent, basically. Uh, and while there's no official link with Benfica, we want to have some of their players. And lo and behold, three weeks later, stay true to his word on that one. Are we expecting to see any of these guys involved on Saturday starting? Do I think. We think? Um, Saturday, not sure because I guess it depends on fitness and mm. pre-season. But 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 throughout the season, throughout mm -hmm. the 46 game season, Jorge Mendes isn't sending players to sit on the bench. No, of course he's no, not. Especially if if they're on loan, yeah. as, as as we believe a lot of them will be. Uh -huh. They'll be here to play. Mm -hmm. They'll be here to if, to be in the shop window yeah. for, first and foremost, mm -hmm. and then to be sold on at a high price. Mm -hmm. That's how this works. Um, if Wolves get in the Premier League, then then perhaps these guys will stay. But mm -hmm. you know. They've just they've just signed uh, a Portuguese international, a 28-year-old fullback. Fantastic signing comes from Atletico Madrid. He signed a one-year contract. Right. It's not the way not the way things have no. been done here in the mm -hmm. past. So mm -hmm. it, everything's gonna be very different from now on. I think we'll see a high turnover of players. I just hope that they keep the existing core of you know a really promising bunch of 23, 24-year-olds that are here. We've got mm -hmm. obviously Iolfa and Hawes. Got people like Matt Doherty, Player of the Year last year. Jack mm -hmm. Price, what what a fantastic talent he is. Sure. Joe Mason, uh, Newa Dicko, Jordan Graham. Obviously, when he comes back, Michael Zairo. Mm -hmm. These are all aged between what 21 and mm -hmm. 25. Mm -hmm. um, they're good, good young players that are improving. Sure. And you don't just want to see them sold off to make a, quick, a, a fast buck. You want them to be part of this going forward, mm -hmm. accentuated by the quality that these mm -hmm. Portuguese players and others will hopefully bring. Oh, it's a showcase for them, isn't it? And it's a showcase for, for Zenger himself as well. Like you said, he has had a lot of turnover of clubs and that, that's been well documented. But as he signed, is it a one-year deal? One-year deal with an option of, a, of another year. Which is a great chance for him and a, and a showcase. Like you say, he watched championship football all over the place. He knows plenty of managers, Claudio Ranieri being one of them, and he'll want to show him and prove what he's worth as well. Yeah, I mean, he, he tongue-in-cheek said when someone asked what his contract was, oh, I'm here for five years. <laughs> uh, you know, he knows... Yeah. I, hope, I hope he is, because it means that Wolves will be in the Premier yeah, League, absolutely. probably. absolutely. I mean, he hasn't stuck at a club longer than two years, so you'd have to say, what, six, six months to a year? Mm -hmm. g g g going on his record, I think if Wolves aren't in the promotion hunt by Christmas, then, then he yeah, won't be here. Mm -hmm. But I think he knows that and he understands mm -hmm. that. But the, the, the type of manager he is, that seems to get the, be get, get the, get the best out of players, mm -hmm. and make them perhaps overachieve, 
get them all playing for him. That's that's the kind of style that can produce mm -hmm. uh, a bit of a a bit of a spike and a kind of an instant you know bump in results. Mm -hmm. Now Wolves have had a shocking pre-season. I mean, it's been really poor, mm -hmm. um, uh, culminating in a really uh, a thrashing by Swansea, mm -hmm. who, who could have scored seven or eight if they'd mm -hmm. fancied it. So so Wolves need that right now. These players need that. So hopefully, you know, if he can put out a decent level on a Saturday, which I'm sure he can, then he can start putting some results together, and and then you know see where it takes them. Walter Zenge is the new head coach of Wolverhampton Wanderers. And for all the latest club news, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.